How you doing everyone? It is Monday night, it's 8 o'clock and it's a bloody broadcast for you. How are you doing? I'm Billy Kirkwood. How do you think I feel? I've got to deal with my shit 24-7. We've got a great show for you tonight. We have got a very special guest, one of our brought ambassadors, wonderful David Wallace. Uh, we were going to have Lindsay on as well tonight, but uh, well, we'll explain that in a wee while. Before we get rocking, if you could do us a favour, if this is your first time, welcome, come on in. Uh, if you want to do this, you can hit the like button on the Bra Beard Oils Facebook page. You can also give the Twitter a like, and if you very much like whatever you are, hit that share button, and let's get as many people watching from the Brotherhood and beyond as we can. We're going to talk a wee bit about beer maintenance. We're going to catch up with David and talk a little bit about lockdown. Uh, look, do you know... Lots of stuff. Dirty jokes. I've written, drawn a picture of a willy. That's all we're going we're to get through tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. But if you have any questions at all about any type of beard care or anything at all, it's open house here. We're throwing it open. So here's what to do. Put them in the comments and we'll come back to them at the end. And before we get rocking, first of all, and it's always very important, let's say hi to a couple of folk that are watching. First of all, uh, good evening, Matt. How are you doing? Oh, sorry, I moved the line. Uh, good evening, Matt. How are you doing? Uh, evening, Gareth. Uh, let's see, Chris as well. Good evening, Colin. Uh, and it's uh, oh god, Gareth, it's your first time. Well, welcome to the show, brother. You're more than welcome. Uh, I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna have ourselves some fun, right? Without further ado, what I love about this is I have the people sitting in the green room, and everyone else I can see it from here on them, but because this guy is so such a giant and is so bloody tall, literally, all this is I can see, all I can literally see is a beard. All I can see is a beard. But with the light down back in the show, uh, let's hear it from Mr. Davey Wallace. Davey, how the hell are you doing, man? How are you doing, my man? Uh, first of all, it is weird because literally, when you see when I do the wee preview, all I see is your beard and nothing else. So you say, I'm struggling to hear you, Billy, now. It's been quiet. All right, hang on. Is this any better, pal? Let me try this just quickly. Don't let this alarm. Boom. Is that any better? David, can you hear me? I can't hear you now. It's really right. quiet now. Let me try one thing. Let me try one thing. Is that any better? Not really, not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, this is not good right here. Let's see if we can find something. Let's see. Uh, what's that? Are you muted? Uh, hello? hello. Is that any better? No, I can hear you. Just it's really, really in the distant kind of thing. I wonder. I wonder why. Let me let me try something very, very quickly here. Let me try something very, very quickly, very, very quickly, very, very quickly, very, very quickly. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, why is it not working? Why is it not working? Oh, that's why because it's going to the right place. Here is. Let's try. Sorry, anybody watching right now is going to be. Well, this is IT support for uh, for folk work in the wall. So let me see if I can fix this. Is is that any better? No, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, I wonder what the fuck is going on. Uh, Try one more time. Is that any better? No, really, no. I can't hear you, but it's just a little bit of a 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 Right, let's try that. Any better? No, it's still really, really good. Let, let me check something. If you are watching along, do me a favor. Can you hear me and can you hear Davey? Let's try and uh, we'll see if we can try and fix something out. Uh, sorry, Davey, I'm just trying to double checking if it's our end or if it's my end. Uh, it's because your bonnet's over your lugs. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think uh, it's, uh, a couple of people are reckoning it's, uh, it's their problem. Because my back got my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently we're all loud and clear. This end, it might be your end, Davy. I tell you what, Davy, do you want it? We'll try some. We'll, we'll try some just quick, right? Uh, I don't know if that'll make a difference. Uh, do you want to pop out and then pop back in and see if that makes okay. any difference? Okay. Right, okay, we'll talk to you in just one second, all right? While you're doing that, I'll fill and I'll sell some stuff. So uh, um, why don't you try uh, logging out and then logging back in? Did you hear that? Right, I'll just call you then. Yes, mate, I'll see you in one second. Just come back in, right. Okay, uh, sorry about that. We've actually, in all this time, in literally nearly six months, we haven't had one tech issue. So 
Forget this. Uh, we're just trying to get a salty for you. Tell you what, before we go any further, uh, first of all, we've got a couple of announcements, obviously, that came out. We haven't actually talked about that much. Obviously, the uh, championships for next year, uh, they have been postponed. They're cancelled as they are just now. Uh, John and everything, all the official information about that, because I do get some private messages coming in um, to, uh, to this page and in the comments. Anything that we know is going to be happening in regards to that, that will come officially from uh, JJ and the guys at Broadbeard Oils. But don't forget all the new merch and anniversary stuff. The anniversary oils is now available over at Broadbeard Oils. Make sure to check that out. Get your hands on it. Some of it is absolutely amazing. And in the coming weeks, we've got some very special guests. First of all, we're going to have part two of our interview with, uh, oh, I should say, ICW and WWE superstar Jack Jester. Is that any better, mate? I can hear you better now, yeah. We're fucking back. There we go. Uh, yes. That's that's Lindsay conspiring to uh, to do it. Right. Originally, we were going to have ourselves a wee bit of a, uh, a brotherhood catch-up, and we were going to have Davey and Lindsay on. But Davey, uh, sorry, I should say Lindsay can't be on because apparently he's got no power in his house. Uh, and, uh, it's fucking power uh, cards right now. That's what I'm thinking, man. It's like, where does he live? 1942 or something? Where, uh, where, where, where is it uh, Lindsay lives again? Sorry, I always forget. It's Blantyre or something, isn't it? Kate Keller home. All right, okay. So it's fucking miles away. Absolutely miles away. He's uh, probably still on the old 50 pence in the meter kind of that old system. Listen, it's, it's yeah. hard enough when he's trying to dial in on CFAX. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah. just waiting for, <laughs> waiting for the numbers to come around so he can play bamboozle uh, or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like that uh, but mate first of all uh, loads and loads and loads of love loads and loads and loads of love for the beard first of all uh, we'll get that out yes. of the way I know you like that uh, including Andrew Evans my god uh, my beard is good but fuck me uh, lots, <laughs> lots, of, lots of love for the beard uh, mate it's looking positively I mean, I, you're barely under there. <laughs> you're, all I can see is like, your heat kicking out now. Uh, how many have you grown? Out, how many more inches have you grown on that the beard? Um, I'm not sure. I was actually I was at the barbers last week, but I just I just got a wee kind of a wee fine tune, so I just get the kind of the, the, the very bottom just kind of tidied up. But yeah. trying to make my last measure, I think I'm sort of about twenty one inches. I think be the bottom oh, one. Where is it? Um, where is it? You go. I know I've asked. I think I asked you this before, but where is it? You go to get it a wee tidy up. Yeah, I go up to the, the vintage barbers up in Comores, so um, it's a guy, Alex, that does my beard in there. So. That's right, because last time we talked, all the hairdressers and barbers were closed. Never remember. Ah, I, think, never remember. I, think it's kinda, I think it's been scuppered again, because I think um, they stopped the beard trims again, so because you've got to take the mask off, so... It's, it seems to be different. I think it depends what you get because I heard, I know these places are pals over in uh, in Edinburgh and I know some other places, I think they're doing it, but uh, I think it de- I think it depends. Like, they're not going to go anywhere near me, but with you, I guess they could be far, <laughs> they could be far enough away from your face. <laughs> <laughs> that they were, there's no danger. Do you know, they could be out in the street then you're beard. It's, uh, it's looking good, man. It's, it's looking good. Uh, just very quickly, we've got a couple of newbies. John Alway says it's pissing down in Dundee. Um, oh, well, that's nice to hear. Maybe they're putting in some more roundabouts in the piss and rain. I don't know what they're doing. It's it's fucking ridiculous. But how have things been since you're uh, uh, since? Well, it's kind of weird. We're going into lockdown too. It's like a really. I know season. it's kind of weird. Uh, so still been kind of fairly busy work wise. So yes, kind of complaining at that. Um, so just kind of looking forward to the darker nights as well. Just just then, you know, you're going to be in at a reasonable time every day and get a wee bit of kind of bit of downtime. So. Um, as I said to you just before we come on, I'm not really going to talk too much about it, but just get kind of a bit of kicking the nuts through the week. I just kind of found out that kind of yeah. a close family members um, with cancer, so for that kind of a bit of shelter, you know. So the first already been a kind of bad year, it's just turned even worse kind of thing. So, but uh, this year that's just cool. seems yeah. to. This year just seems to constantly be kicking us on the balls, and, yeah, uh, and again. Um, all the very best to the family, and I know plenty of people yeah. are going to uh, share that with me as well. Um, oh, do you know it's this fucking? <laughs> you try, you try and be positive about it this year in any way, and it's just like, but it's a this asshole of a virus. Can it just fuck right. off? Um, uh, I don't, I don't need a new series of Star Wars Mandarin. I don't want this gutty fuck. Do you know what I mean? Um, uh, let's see, we got uh, Finn saying hi. Uh, first of all, saying hey guys, how's it going up in Open this week? Uh, oh, it's going to be all lovely over and open. God, I've not been in fucking over in years. To Tobamori, since I filmed a cameo in Balamori, because I used to be an arsehole. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I used to be an You were in Balamore. I have a little clip in Balamore. I, I used to do, uh, I still do bits and bobs of kids' TV every now and then, but uh, <laughs> I, I had a little bit part in Balamore and then I filmed some other. Like, ah, we're not talking about me! <laughs> we're, not, we're not talking about me. Uh, but I know since lockdown you've been busy as well. I know you went out on another shoot along with JJ. Yeah, we were up at Fort William recently. That was, um, that was really nice up there. Beautiful, beautiful place. Nice. Nice. It's a, a, so I, I saw it with the likes of the big boats and stuff in the background. I did die down on the beach. I was just cracking. So the, the weather was good as well, but we're going to go up to the, the Glen Finnan Viaduct. We're going to go up there on the Sunday morning, but it was just it was absolutely heaving. So it was, you know, just cars parked right. everywhere. So we couldn't, coun't really get anywhere near it. Nothing, you know, car parks were full. Just couldn't believe how busy it was up north. You know, it's Aye. pretty much every lay by in the past. It's full of camper vans and stuff, you know. It's just, Everybody's kind of took to the road, you know. So, well, I gotta say, it, it was kind of weird for me because I ended up uh, going up to uh, Thurso to see our relatives up there, and Thurso was empty, but John O'Groats was rammed like I've never seen it so rammed. And everyone's uh, trying to get a pitch, everyone's trying to get a picture next to the you know, the the, the big sign that points New York this way, and uh, fucking Trun this way, and everyone's trying to get a picture, and, and yeah. everyone's hod, hodding on to this. <laughs> It was on of this pole trying to avoid seagulls shiting on them. So it's you know, just the, the loss of the time. And of course, we've got to say this. You're coming to us tonight from the, the infamous uh, Rave Cave. Yeah, hi. Uh, so I was in the Rave Cave last night. So I, was, uh, I, had a, I had a few beverages last night. Just, just you know, so I had to kind of gather my thoughts a wee bit. So I just came out with a bottle of this and just got, got the tunes on and just... Spent a few hours out here, so that was good. What was the tunes, kind of what's, what's the tunes of choice? You don't mind me asking, what's the tunes of choice? Uh, it's always like old school, old school techno, so it is kind of back to the kind of early 90s. So. Oh, there we go, the fucking hassy end on everything. I'm loving it. Uh, I'm absolutely <laughs> loving it. <laughs> Loving it. Uh, right, so let's get let's get in about some of the stuff that he's sending me up. Loads of people asking about uh, beard care uh, tonight, which is interesting. Actually, Andrew Evans is back again. Uh, I have a good length past my chest. Uh, it's a width I lack. Advice for gaining real... <laughs> Sorry, these are just words that sounds odd, asking another man. Uh, advice for asking for gaining real thick width, uh, dot, 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 on my beard. Uh, can he help you if you're needing it anywhere else, Andrew? Uh, any advice, man, for people looking after it? Uh, want to get that? Well, one of, of probably one of one of my regrets when I started growing my beard was um, the first the first couple of years. I used to always get my kind of my sides taken in, really kind of quite right. tight to my face, and my beard was always just kind of I know it sounds silly, but my beard was always just kind of growing like from my jawline down, if that makes sense. Right. And then. Um, my good pal Jimmy Britton can I always kind of take advice off of him as well and he always said to me about you know stop stop trimming the sides you know like, like your kind of side your sideburns area you know because that that helps kind of like you know promote the width you know coming from up there so and even I always used to get my my kind of neckline shaved like you know like, <laughs> Looking around about that holy area. crap he has one he has a neck you <laughs> heard it everyone he has a neck um, Kind of around a bit like my Adam's apple, kind of. So I stopped yeah. shaving that as well. So that's kind of that's really helped me with the width. So um, I have asked about it really, you know. It's yeah. Sometimes down to styling as well, you know. I can style my beard where I can, I was going to say really long and narrow, uh, <laughs> matron. <laughs> so, but then just other times, just depending on the way I kind of brush it and that, you know, I can I can go flick enough to try and get the full on Jimmy Britton look, you know. Like, Try and get it as wide and as kind of fluffy as possible, you know, like for the wow factor. So, yeah, it's it's weird if any if anyone knows Jimmy, of course, if you get a chance, uh, you got to go on his social media because recently he's been posting up pictures of him uh, when he's a bit younger and, and, and bloody hell, man, he's like unrecognizable, Jimmy. When he's got like when he's got knee beard and then out of nowhere he's got a wee beard and then just it's fucking uh, see him pictures of folk without their facial hair. It's I feel like somebody's wane when their dad shaves off like his moustache or something. It's like <laughs> who, who the fuck are you? <laughs> he's pumping iron a lot now as well. I've seen I've seen like in his um, like his stories. You know he's at the gym a lot. You know you've yeah. seen any of the videos? No, I've seen I've seen a couple. Man, he's I mean he's he wasn't he's not a wee lad anyway. 
as Jim no. Ross, you know what I mean? But uh, um, and I know he likes his wrestling, so I've been teasing him. It's like, mate, is this you getting into the wrestling? Come on, that's going to happen. Good, good on him anyway, because I see he's, he's wearing these piece bra hats in the gym anyway, so he is. So yeah, find yeah. yourself, Jimmy. Although I'd say that though, I'd wear a, I'd maybe wear a snapback. I wouldn't wear a bonnet. See, like one of these, I wore one of these jumping uh, the other, and I thought I was, I thought I was going to fucking pass out. Um, <laughs> but, but, but that's because I've got like knee <laughs> cardio. Um, <laughs> a couple of people saying about Fort William. Uh, Les is watching tonight. Beard looking good, Davey. Fort William's his home. Yes, Les. Uh, gorgeous part of the world is Fort William. Um, and it's a shame because you see all these places up north. And I know you were saying that it was busy, but there's so many places that folk are not getting to go to regularly just now because of this dickhead. Yeah. Illness. So um, give a love to everybody up in Fort William. That's uh, that's awesome. A couple of people asking this. I never even thought about this. Because of the minging weather coming in, um, you've got that big bad boy on your face. And I never even really thought about this. What's the care you take in this type of weather? Because uh, where we are in Ayrshire tonight, it's, I mean, it's howling, it's strong winds, it's firing down. I think it's like a yellow warning or whatever. Uh, what's the what's the care you take, especially if you're doing like a photo shoot? Because I guess you don't want it like going, you know, mental. What do you, what do, you do, Davey? <laughs> oh, it's just an absolute nightmare. I've seen myself even get out to my van and if it's windy, I, can, I walk sideways. I'm kind of walking back. I think I'm doing the fucking moonwalk out to my van, but it's, it just depends on the way the by the way the wind's blowing, but then saying that I can't, I can't walk down the full length of a street backwards, you know, you're just going to get, going to get huckled, you know, the, the van with the square wheels, so I, but I, I said, I, usually, usually my beard's in a bobble anyway, the majority of the time, it's like, you know, like, like going out to work every day, my beard's in a bobble, you know, inside my, my snood, you know, my, my brother's snood, so, so that's how, it's always nice, you know, just to be able to do my beard, I know, I know it sounds daft, you know, but no, it's not very often I let it, and hang, hang loose if I can say that. So, I, so it's, a, it's a bit of kind of, bit of privilege for me, you know, to, to be able to do it and get it, get it in the way it should kind of thing. Right. Especially with the work you do as well. I mean, the last thing you want to do is have that beard going a bit mental and getting caught in what you do. So, uh, but the thing is, like, even, like, even like with the, with the brothers, it's like my beard and a bobble, you know, so it's my brother's kind of still hanging down. So, yeah. If I've got a, if I've got a top on with a zip, you know, I've got to just to snag on the zip, but then some things end up just tucking inside my t-shirt, you know. So it's like, right. so it's like, this part of twenty-one inch of beard, you know, then inside your t-shirt, you know, then you can do your belly button. Just I could, it's annoying it, to be fair, it is, but it kind of pisses me off at times, you know. But then uh. it's, it's worth it on the flip side, you know. But even just like for con, I've said before, but just just for confidence and stuff, I you know it's. It's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant, you know. So, and you want to keep it looking good. You want to keep it looking good. It's, yeah. it's all, it's all, it's all part of the care process. I mean, anybody uh, that's probably just going to leave it going wild is going to end up with a, a pretty messy display. Um, absolutely, going, going to the barbers. You know, see how much better you feel if you just a wee trip to the barbers. You know, not even to get a lot uh, off it, but just to get, just to get wee, wee, wee bits tidied up. They kind of that annoy you kind of thing. That, uh, you know, for, cause folk are always you know, complimenting your beard. You know, but then. To me, no, nobody's got a perfect beard anyway, kind of thing. Everybody's got we kind of niggles with it, they're not happy with it. That's what I like to get to the barbers, just get the, just get the wee, the wee bits kind of fine tuned. And you, you always kind of feel feel better about yourself, you know, when you come out of there. So. And it's, it's getting somebody who knows what they're doing. I mean, obviously, there's the, the vintage barbers down this way. There's the, the Orbit Smoke guys over in Edinburgh. Um, yeah. a bit, have you ever had any horror stories? you ever had anybody going near that and you've been like, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing? Near, near my beard? Aye. No, no, because it's, it's funny as anything. See, the, the first time when I went to the, the vintage barber, um, I kind of kind of done a bit of research, you know, like for barbers in the area, you know, who like who to who to go to and who to avoid. So I think I actually sent them an email. So I did, and as if as if I was betting them to see if they, you know, how like, if they were good enough, kind of thing. So yeah, yeah. I sent them an email and asked if. Asked if I could go and have a chat with him, kind of thing. So then it was like a good 15, 20 minute chat, you know, about what I was what you know what I was what I gained from my beard, kind of thing, you know. So, um, so it used to be a guy Mitch up there used to do my beard. He's retired now, so then a younger guy Alex, he's kind of he's took over now. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to any other barbers now. Like no, no any disrespect to like any of the ones I know, kind of thing, but just Aye. <laughs> they. they, they the vintage barbers have been dealing with my beard for the last three, three or four years now, kind of thing, you know. So they kind of, well, 
kind of know the way it grows and you've kind of seen it develop kind of thing, you know, so don't get me wrong, if they shut down, then obviously I need to source another barber kind of thing, you know, but no. as you say, there's the trusted barbers that orbit smoke and that as well, you know, so that's it, that's it. Um, just a wee bit too far out the road to be orbit smoke, but then saying that, Lindsay, he, he makes it he makes it journey up, so he does, so. He does, I, uh, he does. And Angelo does a great job, you know, so. It's all part of it, especially when it's like yourself and obviously you're doing, you know, you're doing shoots, there's competitions, there's all this to consider. It's an investment. It's like you would, if you would buy a, a like if you get a PT or a trainer or a, or a, 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 a bike or something. Uh, but just say a, a quick hello to a couple of people who just logged in. Uh, good evening, Peter, the Pirate King. Um, here's our cook who is uh, going to cook for us all when this is all said and done. Uh, and it's uh, always good to see him on the chat. Quick question, and I never even thought about this, but um, Gary, uh, Gareth, it's, uh, I believe it's Gareth's first time, he's actually asking, how do you wear a face mask with that epic beard? <laughs> I, wear, I, I wear my, my snooty thing, so I do it, you know, my, my dolly I Don't get me wrong, I, I do wear a mask occasionally, you know, if I've not got my snoot with me kind of thing, but uh, nine things out of ten, I've got my snoot with me, you know, soles on my neck regardless kind of thing, you know, when I'm out at work, but... Even even if I do wear a face mask and I think because it it kind of it kind of hook over your chin, yeah. And because because my beard's so thick there, so it always ends up creeping up. You know, so I'm like, I've seen myself walking in the supermarket and the fucking the mask can all up over my eyes. It just keeps creeping up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just, I did the, the, the brothers. Knew that was that was one of the best inventions out. Can I you know it's, it's, it's been brilliant. So as so. Oh, I, and they are available from uh, Broadbeard.com, just in case uh, yeah. anybody's anybody's watching. The gaffer's watching. Uh, I believe he's, uh, he's he's working on his, his uni stuff just now. Uh, right, I, I've got to say though, right? Do you go? Do you go in for Halloween, Davy? Do you go in for Halloween? Do I go for Halloween? Ah, uh, is it? Well, I don't. I don't no. mean go out for. I don't. I don't know. So somebody gave. <laughs> You turned up at the front door going, have you seen that wee boy's costume? He looks like he's ever six foot and got a massive beard. That'd be incredible. <laughs> Imagine the sweets you could get. Uh, but uh, a couple of people suggesting uh, um, outfits or uh, potential costumes for you. I don't know if it's okay to be Hagrid, I suppose. Uh. I, I would just, uh, Hagrid just don't look, mate. If they ever make sequels to those movies, I think you're in with a shout. I genuinely I think. Imagine the amount of money they're going to save on makeup. And you know what the like, train is in Fort William already. You can get yourself fired up there. Um, and I was at the time I got I got about X. Well, I got one day's work with filming about walking, so I did as an extra. And we always kind of laugh about it because John, John, he got, he got a few days, so he did. And John's like kind of right up next to the camera in a few of the shots, and that was. I was like a fucking like a dot in the distance, so I was you know carrying carrying a big kind of hessian sack at the end of a big kind of oh, horses and carts. So I was like. Honestly, I was probably about a mile away from the camera, and even when we even when we were filming, I was trying to, I was trying to kind of walk out a line a wee bit, you know, so that if I did see myself on the tail in the distance, I'd like to see that, that asshole up there is walking out a line. That's that's me. That's, me. that's probably that's probably why they didn't why they didn't show me because they're probably like that, that guy's just totally ruined that scene because everybody's walking in a line. I'm probably walking about a foot and a half out, <laughs> just you know, so I can notice. And I remember that when the they kind of tremored on the Netflix and, and Friday, the Friday night or something, so it was. So me and my, my family kind of sat down to watch it because I knew, I knew the bit where, where I would be in it kind of thing, and then I wasn't in it. I've, I've never watched the film again. An absolute lot of shit. <laughs> Why would you want it with the dodgy accents? Do you know, I, I watched The Outlaw King and uh, Chris Pine. Chris Pine is his right. accent's his accent's not that bad. I think he's done. He actually did all right considering how Americans normally butcher Scottish accents, something fierce. But then he was there was one guy that I remember in the Outlaw King and going that guy's accent's terrible. He's he's fucking Scottish. <laughs> like, yeah. One of the actors that's in it, I'm going this guy's got the worst Scottish accent I've ever seen. Guy's from Coatbridge, and it's like fuck's sake. Um, but uh, have you had any other brushes with uh, showbiz in terms of? Um, I done. Um, I got a day's filming me uh, Rob Riggle. Do you know the American comedian Rob Riggle? Yes, I do know so, Rob Riggle. Um, yeah. So it was through it was through the uh, my last place I worked when I worked up at um, up at the castle. So yeah, uh, he's got he's got a program on Discovery Channels at Rob Riggle's is a global explorer or something like that's called. So right. it's, it's, it's a bit kind of tongue in cheek, you know, where he goes around the world kind of looking. Looking for old, old treasures and artifacts and stuff like that. So, and um, they wanted to use the estate, so they did because of the kind of the, the mucky bogs. And um, so, 
my boss would say to me, they were looking for like, a stereotypically Scottish guy to be wondering about the woods as you do. And he, he asked me if I wanted to do it. So so that was fine. So then started getting kind of a phone call system to this American producer lady that's tell me, you know, what I was to, like, what I was to wear. So I was to wear my kilt and stuff, so I was. So I was just basically to be wandering through the woods and I kind of bumped, I was to bump into him or something like that and he was, I think he was asking for directions. Right. So I turned up, turned up at my, my previous work that day, you know, like, like for the filming kind of thing, because I, th- I think it was only supposed to be there for a couple of hours, but then things kind of get held up in that. So I think I was there for like, for about 11 o'clock in the morning to about 9 o'clock at night, so we were, you know, by the time the, kind of the day spanned out. So, so just before, about a wee bit before we started filming, uh, my boss had said, said to the producer, oh, did David say to you that he plays the bagpipes? I was like, oh, shit, man, because I, I hadn't been at a pipe band for a couple of years, so like, my confidence right. piping life was like really, really low kind of thing, you know, and piping's one of the things, you know, if you... You if you're shit, you know, everybody knows you're shit kind of thing, you know, and so, so when, when my boss had said, you know, about, um, about, you know, David plays the pipes, she's like, no, really? So then next thing, I was in my van heading home to get my, my bagpipes, so I was, so, so basically, I, I was I was just to play the bagpipes in the woods, and Rob Riggle was looking for this treasure on a mucky bog, and I was kind of helping him, like, you know, stopping him from falling into the bog, and he kept on calling me Magnus, that was like kind of part of the script, so... Um, kept on calling me Magnus and then I was just to shout out my name was Davy and kind of storm away kind of thing you know but right. it was funny because I only seen it only seen it a couple of nights ago on YouTube oh, and I kind of, watched, kind of watched it back and, and then the guy um, on my pals to heavy across the road he right. sent me a text message um, with a kind of screenshot you know of his telly saying Are you on you on that Rob Riggle show he said I've just, just watched it now and you're on it, and I said, "Ah, it's like I just filmed him with them, so I did that, so it's good." But they, they did say, you know, that um, if they were ever looking for somebody again, you know, if they were over here, you know, they would give us a shout kind of thing. So I never say never. So, mate, I think I think you're with a shout. I definitely think you're with a shout. And, and the thing is, uh, Rob Riggle's a cool. Uh, Rob Riggle's quite a cool guy. Ex Marine, I think. Uh, ah, yeah, he is, yeah. A big, big fella. He's quite a big fella. Isn't ah, he? yeah, yeah, he's huge. He's funny as anything, but you know. He's a very funny guy, and a lot of people don't. I mean, he's in lots of films like um, oh, Twenty Five Jump Street, and um, I think he turns up in yeah. a Hangover movies, and he's in the other. He's in loads of stuff. Uh, loads of stuff. Really funny guy, but a lot of people don't know him for his stand up. I've seen bits and bobs of his stand up. He's really, really funny dude. Oh man, that's uh, that is the weirdest combo to ever think of. But you know, all I've got to say is, was uh, did he say anything nice about your beard? Um, I can't even actually remember. I'd be lying if I said they did. I, 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 I would have made a comment on it, but I can't remember what it was said, you know. But he's a nice enough guy to the time out to talk to us and stuff, you know. So that is, yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't like kind of stuck up where, you know, you were just, it was if you were getting used and that was it, you know. You, know, you kind of ah, took yeah. time out to talk to us. Ah, that was good, you know. So. I like those arseholes in the Outlaw King. I like those arseholes ah, in the Outlaw King. We well, had your own character. He was a rebel. He was breaking away from the main flanks. <laughs> that character was a rebel. Uh, <laughs> like he had a plan all of his own, and he, if they had listened to him, it was an absolute hunk of a day as well. We were filming up at Open Cross right down at the right down at the shore. And it was just pissing the rain all day, and we're kind of standing under the Collins and everyone trying to keep dry. And we kept on having to redo the take and I think you know I think, I think it was six or seven takes we had to do that. You know, yeah. Back, you know, the horses and carts and everything, you know, they'd be back up the track and then take again. Probably because of that arsehole up the back when they, when they walk in line. <laughs> Why that guy not walk in line? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna, do, you, do you know something? I'm tempted to go on like Amazon or nothing and leave a review going, where the fuck's the guy? <laughs> where the fuck's the guy that was out of the side, man? Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Chris Pine, <laughs> just to see. Uh, um, right, we've got a couple of random points. Mark Weir, I don't know, if you know Mark Weir. Um, he's 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 an old nick, and there's a, an agency. It's a page on Facebook. Um, it's like some bearded bearded bastards or some. I can't remember what it is, but they're, they're based on an agency. You know, they provide guys with beards. You know, saying uh, Mark got a wee bit in, in River City, so he did. Oh, brilliant! Um, is that, but, well, is that Game of Thrones prequel coming? Do you know what I mean? There's a uh, 
they got they might need a new they might need someone new to play the new mountain and it could be uh, oh, that's what it is. Be- beautiful I think it's beautiful bearded bastards I think uh, the agency's called so but then saying nah, I think it's, it's tricky now you know but well, they kind of COVID carry on you know so aye, aye. I, I don't think they're getting much much work through it kind of thing so they've still they've still got to make movies they've still got to make TV exactly. shows I guess it's uh, it's uh, if anything it's probably the only industry that's still rocking at the moment a uh, mm-hmm. couple of big questions uh, uh, we'll get these in um, quickly before we, uh, we uh, finish up with you here first of all uh, good film now between Braveheart the Outlaw King so we've already got a fan there uh, Colin uh, Colin is for in, do you find it hard to get beard oil through to the skin since that beard is so thick uh, no really well, some, I, I usually use a pump dispenser so I do but sometimes now I've even seen myself sometimes like, even holding my beard and just, just like, fucking like, pouring oil onto my beard but, yeah, but I, always, I always end up putting it on my hand as well so I've got to kind of work for, work for the, the face and for underneath kind of thing you know I can't right. I never just apply oil just, just for the face and trying to rub it through I'm always sort of underneath and kind of massaging all right through yeah, and, you yeah. know so, because uh, I mean, obviously you put it on and you, you comb it. Do you put daft question? I know everyone does it different. Do you put the oil on and then comb it through, or comb it through and then oil on? What way round do you do it? Um, well, usually I usually give it a wee a wee gentle comb through before I, before I put any oil on it, but not just just nice and easy, and then oil it, then comb it again, then right. then my my butter on, then can I brush it through with the the, the bow brush? So then I gives it a wee bit more volume as well, can I fluff it up right. a bit? So. Right, so, uh, uh, what... A couple of guys have been asking me. Um, so I started doing it for, for Wednesday because people always ask me how much beard oil I go through. So, so, so I've just opened a new bottle on Wednesday, and I'm just sticking to that one bottle I love all the now, and I'm just going to keep using that every day, just so I can see kind of gauge how much I go through in a month. Because I can't, I, I can't genuinely answer the question how much oil I go through. So, oh wow. So I usually kind of just mix it out, you know, between bottles. So, so I'm just sticking right. to the one bottle so I can kind of keep an eye on see. it. So, well, aye. That's genuinely going to be interesting to see how much that is. Mm-hmm. I know. Like, place your bets below. How many bottles do you think Davy goes through? <laughs> and let's 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 say a month. Uh, curiosity. Let's say a longer bottle lasts them. Uh, I'm putting. Oh God, that's a tricky one. I'm going to say a month, but I reckon I'm well off. I'm going to say a month. I reckon it's a month. Well, uh, uh, that it takes you a, a, a bottle lasts a month. That's what I have to know. Bottle, I think. I can't even guess. I, I reckon I'm, I reckon more than a bottle a month. Maybe a bottle and a half. Maybe I don't know if it'll be as much as that. Just, just depends if I'm applying kind of twice a day. You know, when I come in for work. You know, like after no. a, after a shower. You know, if I if I re oil the end kind of thing. I usually do it anyway. So. Aye, aye. Um, aye. So. All right, one last question. Uh, we've got this. Boom. Uh, what's your morning routine, Davey? Oil or oil and... Oh, so I'll try this again. This is a tricky one, Kenny. What's your morning routine, <laughs> Davey? Oil or oil and butter? Oil and butter. Because I, I still I still feel... Even even if I oil it, you know, my beard is... My beard's kind of really fluffed up then, but oh. I, I prefer to get the butter on it anyway. It just kind of just keeps everything in place anyway, you know, like, even just like if it's windy and stuff like you know, if, if I don't put butter on, then kind of skin's kind of blown a bit everywhere, kind of thing, you know, like, and my eyes and stuff, you know. <laughs> well, we're already getting guesses in. Craig, uh, here he's going uh, one point five months per five hundred milliliter. We're gonna we're gonna double check on this. We're gonna double check on this. Uh, but very quickly, a cost, TV, um I know that you're. Uh, Putting a lot into your Instagram and the new photos and stuff you're going up just now, so people can stay in touch. Where's the best place that people can check out? And I know you've been putting up some of those images from that Fort William shoot, which if you get a chance, check them out. They look absolutely fucking brilliant. Uh, and of course, it's with some of the new gear on as well. Where's the best place for people to check uh, stuff out about you, Davy? It's Instagram. So my page on Instagram is, is Davy underscore Wallace underscore. So my bit of and I'm terrible on Instagram, but you know, can I beat myself up too much? See, I'm just putting a picture on. I'm, I'm a bit of kind of a bit of light to us, so. I think you do. I think you do good. I think you do good. I think it always looks right. good. So, uh, um, I like the night when I. Better things to post in the day as well, you know. So, I've kind of, I've kind of nailed it, you know. But it was my best time to post in the day, so. So I was kind of, I was kind of post later on at night. You kind of catch the kind of the Americans as well, you know, because they're kind of time different. So, 
if I can post later in the night, you know, by catching them, maybe coming in for the work kind of thing, you know. So I've got some pals that can tell you, oh, analytics and this is when to do it. I just normally go, ah, fuck it, I'm awake up, it goes. Ah, well, um, don't get me wrong, I probably look into it too much, you know, thing, you know, so just. So it's a beard yeah. competition as well. Let's see anything about beard competition. I always take it. I always feel as if I always take it too serious. You know, I'm just, I'm just relax and take it in kind of thing. You know, I'm always kind of on edge. You know, maybe a touch of anxiety. I don't know. But just, uh, it's rather than just enjoy the moment kind of thing. You know, but I probably try and push myself too hard. You know. Okay, there's nothing wrong with being a bit competitive, mate, and having the drive. Because I'd rather have the drive and feel something than just let life go past. You know what I mean? It's it's one of those. Yeah. Things. Quick one from Column as well. Good to hear the prodigy on one of your stories. Uh, I know you're in the the rave cave tonight, but don't worry, I'm not going to make you day any of your uh, mad cunt shapes or anything. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 it's way too I've cold for that. Well, there's, there's tools lying everywhere, so there is. A, oh, well, there I'm standing there, standing there, spotting the floor, and I can't move in case I trip over anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that sounds like an awesome rave. That sounds like an awesome rave. Uh, well, look, man, I, I will let you go and get on with the rest of your night. It's always awesome to have you on the show. And who knows, maybe next time we'll actually we'll we'll, we'll send Lindsay fifty p. We'll get the meter on. <laughs> generally, generally, Lindsay, if you do get an opportunity to see this, we really do hope everything's okay. And you do get your lecky back on because uh, and as and as soon as you do, get the outlaw king on. And uh, start seeing the start seeing the fucking shite that they cut Davy out, which is a fucking disgrace. <laughs> I uh, know was... that bastard John Jackson was in it right right next to the camera, right next to Chris Pine. Right. He likes Robin in as well, you know. Right next to Captain Kirk, mate. I mean, what, what, uh, what kind of world are we living in? Right, I'll I'll just pop you in the green room, mate, and then I'll I'll sign off for right. Uh, right, that's all we've got time for you on broadcast. We are going to be back next week with another fantastic guest. Don't forget to check everything that's going on in the social media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything that's going on, Broadbeard Oils, and there's new merch out. We're on the run up to Christmas, so make sure to go and check that out. Uh, loads of oils. Gear or gear, <laughs> I mean, Clay's <laughs> all manner of stuff. You can go and check it out. We're going to be back next Monday, eight o'clock, and a whole host of new episodes that we've recorded right here are going to be hitting Spotify and the Bra Beard YouTube. So make sure to give that a subscribe, you like, and make sure to check out Davy Wallace on our awesome guest, Davy underscore Wallace underscore. That's all for me, Billy Kirkwood. I'm going to be back tomorrow. If you're looking for some entertainment later on tonight, half nine, there's going to be Monday Night Improv, uh, which is uh, a live improvised comedy show. Feel free to watch that. That's all we've got time for. Now, as per always, it is the bit where I try my best not to look at the record. Oh, fucking, I, I've got to get, I need a man, I need a man to come and, I need a man to do this. God, I'm freezing. Out. <laughs>